Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. Hi, I'm Molly Hendrickson with the latest from Denver 7. A new poll suggests while Jared Polis has the advantage heading into November, there are still a lot of votes that could be swayed either way. The Kaiser Family and Colorado Health Foundation surveyed nearly 1,600 people last month. 44% said they're backing Polis. 33% are voting Walker Stapleton. But here's the big one. 15% are undecided. The rest of those polled didn't have an opinion, didn't want to talk, or didn't support either candidate. Who doesn't love Waffle House? A lot of people apparently, some in unincorporated Arapahoe County, are not happy with plans to build one near the Huntington Estates neighborhood. The reason? Bright lights and crowds at all hours of the night. A meeting will be held tonight and we will be there to cover it. $282 million are up for grabs in tonight's Powerball jackpot. That said, you might be better off going for the Mega Millions prize. No one won last night, raising the total to a cool $548 million. The next drawing for that one is Friday night. And now from the First Alert Weather Center, here is meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo. I could do a lot of damage with that money. Too. This would be one of the spots there in Boulder on Pearl Street. Take a look at the view. Now, this camera pointed toward the flat irons, and uh, you can't see much because we do have some patchy fog still in spots, especially as you head up into the foothills and mountains. Fresh snow on some of the roofs and treetops, and the roads are pretty wet. We're going to see a chance for a few more light snow showers uh, throughout the day across the plains. The mountains will pick up some heavier snow. In fact, about three to eight inches expected above 10,000 feet. So some good mountain snow for some of the ski resorts that are hoping to get open here in the next month or so. Uh, mid to upper 30s for highs today. It's a chilly one. We started off near freezing this morning. We'll be in the upper 30s this afternoon. Tomorrow, a few afternoon showers, but things are gradually starting to dry out over the next couple of days. We're close to 60 on Friday, but get this, another storm is going to move in this weekend, and that means light snow and highs only in the 30s, Molly, for the Broncos game on Sunday. Going to be a chilly one. All right, thanks, Lisa. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Make sure you check back here later today for another update and download the free Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Molly Hendrickson.